I think the mistrust in the African American and other communities of of color and racial ethnic minorities is valid. Despite FDA advisors endorsing Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine, Dr. Deborah Furholden, an epidemiologist out of Flint, says she understands some minority groups may be less than willing to take part. You know, we talk a lot about historical wrongdoings in the community, things like the Tuskegee syphilis studies and experiments, but there are also modern day um, disparities and inequities that exist in the healthcare system. However, Dr. Furholden says not getting the vaccine is far too much of a risk, especially for those in the African American and Latino communities, where there are higher numbers of COVID cases. But in order to convince those still on the fence, she says the vaccine needs to be administered equally and affordably. Once a safe and credible vaccine is available, it's important that there's real equity in both the distribution and the administration of that vaccine. It's why Furholden and several other health and community leaders of Michigan have joined in with Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist's COVID-19 Task Force on Racial Disparities to assist communities of color disproportionately affected by COVID. In order for the entire community to be protected, the lion's share of the community across racial lines, across economic lines, across geography, will have to be vaccinated. Jonathan Jackson, WNEM-TV5.